Fairy tales promise a prince, a castle, and a happily ever after. But Diana Spencer's story wasn't a fairy tale. It was a life of immense privilege, crushing duty, and a love story that captivated the world. Born as Diana Frances Spencer on July 1, 1961, on the sprawling grounds of Park House, her life seemed like something out of a storybook. Nestled on the Queen's Sandringham estate, Diana spent her early years surrounded by rolling green fields and grand country houses. She played with her older sisters, Sarah and Jane, and younger brother, Charles, exploring the vast gardens and stables. Yet, beneath the idyllic surface, a sense of unease simmered. Diana's parents, Edward John Spencer, Viscount Althorpe, and Francis Ruth Roche, had a strained relationship. Their incompatibility became increasingly evident, and in 1967, when Diana was just six years old, their world came crashing down. The news of their separation hit Diana hard. The once lively household became quiet, filled with tension and whispered arguments. Despite the turmoil, Diana found solace in the simple joys of childhood. With a shy smile and a gentle spirit, she gravitated towards creative pursuits. Ballet classes became her escape, where she could express herself through graceful movements. The rhythm and flow offered a sense of calm amidst the chaos. Diana also discovered a deep connection with animals, particularly horses. Spending hours riding in the vast countryside became a source of comfort and freedom. Before entering the royal spotlight, Diana spent time nurturing young minds. Working as a kindergarten teacher instilled in her a love for children and a deep understanding of their needs. Diana wasn't your typical aristocratic girl. She was down to earth, funny, and always had a twinkle in her eye. In 1977, at the tender age of 16, Diana met Prince Charles, the Queen's eldest son and heir apparent. He was then 29 and dating her older sister, Sarah. In 1980, Charles and Diana were guests at a country weekend house. He took a serious interest in her as a potential bride. The relationship progressed when he invited her aboard the Royal Yacht Britannia for a sailing weekend. This was followed by an invitation to Balmoral Castle, which is a royal family's Scottish residence, to meet his family. She was well received by the Queen, the Queen Mother and the Duke of Edinburgh. Charles subsequently courted Diana in London. He proposed on February 6, 1981 at Windsor Castle, and she accepted, but their engagement was kept secret for two and a half weeks. The world was captivated. Diana was young, beautiful, and relatable. She brought a breath of fresh air into the stuffy royal family. Lady Diana's married life began with a fairy tale wedding to Prince Charles on July 29, 1981, at St. Paul's Cathedral, which was watched by a global audience. Diana gave birth to her first child, Prince William, in 1982, and later to Prince Harry in 1984. Despite the initial enchantment, their marriage faced challenges, including incompatibility and extramarital affairs. Prince Charles had been dating Camilla before marrying Diana Parker Bowles. They rekindled their love affair in 1986 despite both being married. This relationship continued for years and was a significant factor in the breakdown of Charles and Diana's marriage. Diana also had affairs during her marriage. One of her most notable relationships was with her riding instructor, James Hewitt, with whom she became involved in the late 1980s. Another person who was also close to Diana was her bodyguard, Barry Manneke, whom she described as one of her great loves. The couple separated in 1992, and their marital difficulties became public knowledge, leading to a divorce in 1996. Throughout her marriage, Diana remained a devoted mother to her two sons, Princes William and Harry, and continued her royal duties and charity work. 
Diana felt isolated, trapped in a loveless marriage. She poured her love into her sons, William and Harry. Despite the personal turmoil, Diana found her voice. She connected with the public through her warmth and genuine empathy. Diana broke the royal mold. She visited AIDS patients, a groundbreaking act that helped destigmatize the disease. She walked through minefields, raising awareness for the devastating impact of war. Diana wasn't afraid to get her hands dirty. She saw the humanity in everyone, and people responded to that. She became known as the People's Princess, a champion for the marginalized and a symbol of compassion. In 1997, Diana's fairy tale ended abruptly. Car crash in Paris claimed her life. The world mourned a woman who brought humanity and warmth to the monarchy. Diana's death was a global tragedy. It showed the power she had, not just as a princess, but as a woman who touched millions. Diana Spencer wasn't just a princess, she was a force of nature. She defied expectations, showed the power of compassion, and forever changed the face of the British monarchy. Diana may be gone, but her memory remains a beacon of hope, reminding us that even within the confines of tradition, one person with a kind heart can make a world of difference.